Hi, I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies, and this is the Bodnik Signature Stick. This is a $3,000 longbow. So the first thing when people say a $3,000 longbow, I just went, that is, I do not understand, I don't believe it. Let's have a look at it, right? So this is it. So I was like, I want to do a video on it, and I want to talk about it, and sort of show you, and see what you think about a $3,000 longbow. So the first thing I'm going to say with a Chinese longbow, they're going to cost around $300. So we're talking 10 times the price of a Chinese longbow, okay? Um, Chinese longbow will have a one year warranty, 30 year warranty with this. Now your top of the line, I'm going to say top of the line American longbows, um, and I'm going to say top of the line, like from a company like Bear, um, is going to be under a thousand dollars, and they have a one-year warranty. Okay, so if your Bear um, Bear Archery longbow dies, um, your Bear Recurve dies, and it's three years old and it's got cracks all in the fiberglass, one-year warranty, thirty-year warranty, apparently transferable. Now, I'm not sure what that warranty means, and I'm not having to go up there, pull, buy that. I haven't read the warranty. But um, I'm going to say, um, for me, that could be a major issue um, because shipping a bow back to Europe, getting it shipped back to Australia is a big cost, um, and having to do that for 30 years is a major issue. Um, saying that, I've sold a whole bunch of bear paw bows and I've had zero, zero returns. So that's a good thing. Now, returns with traditional bows are huge. Okay? And even with the American brands. Some of them I have 50% warranty returns. Um, so... And I'm going to say some of the warranty returns, I don't even think of warranty returns. So some of them they'll have, and I'm going to go to this one, um, like in the fiberglass here, there'll be some little lines, oh, just like here, I don't know if you can see them. There'll be like, like, like little lines, and people like, it's got little lines just there. That's warranty, I want my money back. And they'll say that after they've been shooting the bow for a year, and it's, like you'll see like, Here's got little lines. It's not a warranty. Um, and then you've got to argue with the people. And so these days I'm like, whatever the manufacturer says is their warranty. It's, and I get very tired with it. So, because you don't make much money selling archery gear. I mean, if there's a 100% margin, I'd just give you another bow and go, yes. But there's not. So I think when I see a bow like this, which is $3,000, the first thing I think about is the warranty, and I think how much money am I making on that. And if I was making $1,500, I'd probably be okay with that. But I wouldn't be, and I'm not, right? So I'm going to talk about the detail of this bow and all that sort of stuff. Now, when I look at this bow, and I think about top-end long bows the first thing i think of is a brand called predator archery and i sold predator for a number of years um it was owned by one of my friends in america mike who's now in politics um and it was an amazing bow he used to do stuff like this on the limbs and i thought it was incredible and i think back then his bows sold for about twelve hundred dollars and I'm going to say I had zero warranty returns, $1,200. And yes, I used to sell them. Um, they used to, I, let's say I sell two a month or three a month. But now I look at it and I'm like, they were amazing value at $1,200. Like incredible value. And yet I only sold like two a month. Um, only two a month. Um, so 24 a year. Now with this bow, the Bodnik. Um, signature stick these are all my understandings there's a nine month wait so if you go I want one of these bows you're waiting in line for nine months from the time you pay okay so from the time you pay 
wait a year and then you'll get your bow. Right, so that's how it works. So, yeah, a little bit about this bow. Now look at the laminations here. So you're going fiberglass on top, then you've got your wood, then you've got carbon, then you've got wood, and it might be bamboo, I don't, I don't know, then carbon, then bamboo, or whatever it is, and then your fiberglass on the back. Now, the limb tips are nice, so that's a lot of laminations here. Um, the thing I found interesting, so this is a 70 pound longbow, it's a 60 inch longbow, look how thin the string is, I think it's 12 strand, and they put big thick center serving on so the knocks clip on. Um, but 70 pound bow and so thin here, unbelievable. Um, now, the handle is really, really nice. Um, but what, what struck me first off about the bow was the weight. So it was quite weighty. And I'm gonna put that down to the wood, which they use in here. Now normally people would say, ask me about what type of woods is it made of and all that and I'd be like because it really didn't mean much to me it didn't it was just different looks this feels substantially heavier so I'm going to guess that the woods he's used in this is a heavier wood than normal wood um, the bow's got like signature stuff here um, I think it's got his signature there to say it was made in 2023. Look, it's a really lovely bow, and I look at it, and I'm going 3,000s a lot for a bow. But then I go, well, what, what bow do you want? Do you want to buy the $300 Chinese bow, which may break on you? Which is okay, if, especially okay if you're going up in poundage, okay? because you don't want to buy one of these at 30 pounds, another one at 32 pounds or 34 pounds, and then one at 36 pounds, and then one at 38 pounds, as you're, walking, as you're working your way up to 70 pounds. You don't want to buy a signature series for that. This is a 70 pound bow. 70 pound bows aren't even available in the cheaper materials, okay? Now with the bare paw stuff, the, apparently the fiberglass here, which they use is really, really good. Um, there's all different types of fiberglass. Um, and I was talking to my friends in America who make bows, and I'm like, the difference, it used to be you have a traditional bow, you, and it would last you a lifetime, and you'd hand it on to your kids. These days, the bows don't tend to last that long. And a lot of it's got to do with the fiberglass they use and the materials they use. Um, with the Bodnik bows, it's a matte finish. It's not shiny, um, and it kind of feels a light and rough. It's their, it's their signature, their style, um, and it could be because they've got lots of layers on here, but in other bows I've got, um, they're still a clear process, but it's like sanded down and lots and lots of layers, but this is very much the Bodnik style. So when I'm looking at a $3,000 longbow, I first off thought, oh, it's so expensive. And then I thought, well, things have gone up in price a lot. My dog, they used to be $500. Now there's $7,000 for a dog. $7,000 for a dog. This is $3,000. So a dog Like, if you breed dogs, like, you can buy two of these for one puppy. Well, that doesn't sound too bad, right? So I think it depends on how you look at it and how valuable it is to you. And then I look at programs in America, and they say, well, half of the American population have less than $10,000 in the bank. So I go, well, this is probably too expensive for a household that is struggling financially. Okay? Um... But there are lots of people who make really good money today. And for those people, I think a, a quality product like this, which is going to last a lifetime, that is backed a lifetime, is a very interest, interesting proposition um, that has unique stuff like this. And it really struck me when Predator closed because they had these anniversary bows with amazing stuff like this and all this checkerboard stuff in it. 
I thought they'd be there forever. I thought this will just continue forever and this will be commonplace. It wasn't. The company went broke. And now it's very, very hard to go good traditional boat. Bodnik, and there's, you're probably going to say, look, there's other companies out there. Bodnik is like one of the last. And it comes out of Europe and it's quality. And so far, from all the ones I've sold, and you're going to say, how many have you sold? I've sold quite a lot. I've sold quite a lot of Bodnik bows. Um, so my Bodnik order that just came in, they have two, I'm going to say they have two layers of bows. They have a cheaper end, which may have a one year warranty, and then their top end. Okay, so there's the Bodnik bows and the, they have another, another bear paw bow, which is cheaper quality. So around the three to $500. I think they've got the one year warranty. Their other ones might have a two year warranty. This is 30 year warranty. So you have to look at what you're buying when you buy it, because they're not all the same. Saying that, I've had no warranty returns with any of the Bear Paw products, which is amazing. Like, it's it's amazing because I just have so many customers do stupid stuff all the time, like wind out limb bolts while the bow's strung. Um, now, Bear Paw's going to tell you to take a run and jump for warranty, but I'm still going to get them. Um, People who dry fire the bows, people who hack them, hack into them with saws, and you think I'm joking, I am not. Um, I've had none come back from this company. It might be their price points too high, too high to get, um, I'm going to say the idiots, but um, <laughs> don't disrespect the people who wind out their limb bolts when the bow's strung. Um, but yeah, none, and I've been selling them for years now. My bear, bod, people, bodnik order, which just came in, I'm gonna say had 40 or 50 bows on it. Um, it was a pretty decent sized order. Um, look, it came in, I paid for it a while ago, and I forgot about it. And then it arrives. And when I say I forgot about it, it may have been before my heart surgery, so it may have been seven months ago. Um, so I get a bit lost with it all because um, you pay and then nothing really happens and then suddenly you get a shipment so it's not like they have these bows sitting on the shelf and it just goes out the door it's not like that these bows are custom made anyway it's started to rain so I'm going to leave you thanks for watching um, and remember the more you shoot the better you shoot Thanks for watching. Bye.